Hello, this is another of my compilation videos. We're going to talk about growing tomatoes indoors using a free homemade light tube. And then we're going to take those tomatoes outdoors, pot them up and put them in a greenhouse. When space permits, which it doesn't at the moment, but what I want to do now, I want to show you the difference between a tomato that's been on a kitchen windowsill and a tomato that's been on a kitchen windowsill in one of those light tubes. I'll give you the title of the light tube video and I'll give you a link to it in the text below and at the end of this video. When we're done with tomatoes, we're going outdoors to look at some fast start potatoes. These are wonky potatoes. You may have seen the video earlier this year. Those potatoes are growing on in buckets. They're in the greenhouse now. They will need to be moved out before I can get the tomatoes in. But the time isn't quite right yet. But let's have a look at these tomatoes first. That's one grown on on a windowsill. This is one grown on on a windowsill in a light tube. Well, speaks volumes, doesn't it? Speaks volumes. This particular tomato plant has got more light wrapped around it than this particular tomato plant. And as you can see, it's grew that much taller. And this tomato plant, and another dozen or so like it, are ready to go and be potted up and put in that greenhouse. But before we can do that, we need to move the potatoes out. And as I've already said, it's not quite the time of year to be doing that just yet. But that doesn't mean we can't go and have a look at the potatoes. So if you want to... Make yourself a couple of light tubes, make a few light tubes, they're easily made, very, very little DIY skills required here. Then follow the link to the video that talks about tomatoes being grown in light tubes. Right, let's go out and have a look at the progress that these fast start potatoes have been making. Come on. These are my fast start potatoes. As you can see, they're nearly up to waist height now, standing in these 10 inch water buckets. Boy, have these got a fast start. Now, my problem is, I've got an 8 foot by 6 foot greenhouse that's full of these things. They need to be out shortly, and the tomatoes need to come in. But I think we're probably looking at another two or three weeks before that happens. Uh, the problem we've got at the moment is that we're still getting one or two cold nights and we're getting lots of windy weather. Now the wind would just destroy these potato tops uh, and I don't want that to happen. So I don't want to get these out too soon and I don't want to get the tomatoes in too late. So there's a bit of a balancing act going on here, but I think you'll agree, these guys are looking, uh, looking good. But let's not count our chickens before they hatch, or should I say potatoes before we do a reveal. Because it isn't the tops you eat, it's the bottoms, and we haven't turned a bucket out yet. So let's not, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll probably be turning these buckets out uh, in a month or two's time I would imagine will make a start. And these are those wonky potatoes. I put a video up earlier this year showing how to give them a fast start. That's what I did and I'll give you a link to that video if you want to see how to give potatoes a fast start so that by this time in the growing year which is the second spring month your potatoes are up to waste height.
Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. If you want to see how this is done, yeah, by all means, click the links. Go and have a look at that video. If you want to see how the light tubes are used, yeah, click the link. Go and see that video. Okay, so this is homegrown veg signing out.